In this video, we're going to address the question of why do employers fight workers' compensation claims in California? My name is Matt Eason. I've been practicing workers' compensation and employment law for over 25 years here in Sacramento. And we're regularly asked by injured employees, why is my employer fighting my workers' compensation claim? To really answer that question correctly, I think takes a slight modification of the question and to understand that is it the employer that's fighting your workers' compensation claim or is it the employer's insurance company that's fighting your workers' compensation claim? We're going to answer both of those in this video. Understandably, we'll have an employee come into our office who's worked for their employer for 25 years, never missed a day at work, a diligent servant to the employer, loves their job, loves their employer, and they're completely frustrated that their employer's personality turned against them when they filed a clear and obvious valid workers' compensation claim, and they want to understand why. From the employer's perspective, we would like to believe that they feel compassionate towards their employees and they want their employees to get better and they want to support their employees during this time off. Their workers' compensation rates are typically based on what industry they're in and then those rates are modified based on the losses that they've suffered from workers' compensation or from a good safety record. An employer's workers' compensation rate could be very similar to, for example, your car insurance rate. If you have a long history of being a safe driver, then you receive a discount on what the average driver in your situation would pay. You might pay, for example, 85% of what someone just like you would be paying who just went to that company for the first time. In contrast, if you've got points on your records from causing an accident, from speeding tickets, well, then you're going to pay more for your car insurance than someone just like you because you've had exposures to your policy. Workers' compensation from the employment perspective is very similar. If an employer goes for a significant amount of time without any claims or only very small claims, they may get a reduction in their premiums such that they actually may get a discount. In contrast, if an employer has claim after claim or a particularly large claim that costs the insurance company a large amount of money, then they're going to pay a higher premium. Because of that fear of paying a higher premium and arguably greed based on wanting to make more money at your expense, employers often will fight employee claims when they really should not. With respect to your employer's insurance company fighting your workers' compensation claim, that's pretty simple. Insurance companies, by and large, are businesses or run like businesses. And as a business, they want to make a profit. And how do you make a profit? You increase premiums and you decrease expenses. And no matter how justified your claim is, how righteous your injuries are, you're an expense. And if they can reduce that expense, they have a better bottom line, and that's why they're doing it. While it's unfortunate that employers and insurance companies fight valid workers' compensation claims, the reality is that they do. Hopefully this video addressed some of the reasons why they do so, but at least gives you an understanding of what you're dealing with. My name again is Matt Eason. If you have any questions about your workers' compensation claim, I hope you contact myself or my firm. The firm name is Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com. And my phone number is 916-438-1819.